guys. Welcome once again to Irie's Stomach. Before we start our uh, spaghetti and uh, meatball recipe, um, I just wanted to share something with you that I'm really excited about. As you can see, it looks like I'm um, outside at a garden, which is correct. I'm at the community garden, which I've rented a plot to start growing some of the foods that um, vegetables and herbs that I will be using in my recipes. Um, I'm really excited about it, so I just wanted to share this with you. And um, I'm outside of the garden right now just waiting for my friend who's going to come and help me to get the soil prepared for planting. Um, I hope you enjoy this and you don't mind me sharing this with you. Everyone, this is my plot, my little garden. It's... Um, Plot number 10 at the community garden. And here, as you can see, I gotta do some weeding. There it is. I gotta do some weeding to prepare the soil for planting. And I am so excited. And definitely will share my harvest with you guys and all the recipes that are gonna go with it um, just giving you a scan of the garden I'm inside now um, my friend that's here to help me she's just in her car there's my cart with my stuff ready I'm so excited so this is it so um, I'm glad to be sharing this with you um, hope you enjoy it hope it inspires you to start your own garden indoors or outdoors but it's good to know how to grow your own food. Take care, guys. Oh shoot, I wasn't even, I wasn't taping. Oh, oh crazy. Well, that's okay, you can do it again. Yeah, so anyhow, here we go again. I wasn't taping before, guys, but here is one section of my bed or my plot that um, my friend has helped me to to weed out, turn the soil, and it has compost on it. We've mixed the compost in, so it's ready for me to plant seeds. And then the rest of it, as you can see, it looks much better than the first picture, but um, we still have to weed it and um, turn it over and add some compost so we can plant in the rest of it. But here you have it, we're ready to go. As you can see, I've cut the spaghetti squash in two halves and I've gutted it, taking out all the seeds. And now I'm preparing it for the oven. I'm sprinkling now some fresh black pepper onto each of them. And then I'm going to add um, a, a sprinkling of salt on each one, as well as a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon, so half a tablespoon on each halves. I'm going to put it in the oven at um, 350 and have it bake for about 40 minutes. And make sure it doesn't go beyond 40 minutes because then it'll be soggy. Now, um, as you can see, I have the pot going here with two tablespoons of olive oil and my diced garlic and that's been sauteing for a minute. And now I'm adding in the diced um, tomatoes and that's going to saute um, for about three minutes, not too long at which time I will add um, about uh, a pinch of salt, so maybe just a little bit less than a, table sp uh, a teaspoon of salt. And then I will add in half of the basil that I chopped, as well as the tomato paste and water. So at this time, I'm gonna add in my little bit of salt here. So a pinch of salt. 
and um, then I will add in the basil and those will be some simmering together and here's the basil I'm adding in and the rest of the basil of course is going to be used to make our meatballs so here I'm stirring it in and then I'm going to add in the tomato paste as you can see they're all simmering together it looks beautiful and the smell is fantastic so now I'm adding in the tomato paste and that's two tablespoons of tomato paste Stir that around and add in half a cup of water so that we can liquefy it and get everything to blend together and then I will cover it and leave it to simmer for five minutes on low heat so here's the water we're adding in now so we can blend everything in and liquefy our sauce going to stir it in so it'll be nice and smooth and five minutes is all we need to leave it for we don't we're not cooking anything we're just blending them together and letting them sort of marinate <clears throat> it's, it's not a, a you know nothing to be soft or anything like that so <clears throat> I'm gonna cover it now and um, leave it for five minutes and I'll give you a quick view as I said, make sure that it stays on low heat. Take its time. There it is. It's all done. Now we're moving on to making our meatballs. And I'm putting in the cooked chickpeas. And I'm going to add in all of my herbs and spices. As well as my jerk, my little bit of jerk sauce there. And now we're going to add in the onions and the rest of the garlic and this is all going into as you can see the food processor and we're going to process this there's my all together you know my ride or die coconut amino going in there and that's going to make it so nice and spicy and a pinch of salt and we're going to let this process until it becomes like a paste and that way we can use it to form the balls. There it is, um, crushing and grinding together. So it's all finished and we're using about four tablespoons of chickpea flour or you can use regular flour and I'm taking a pinch of it and rolling them. It all depends on how big you want your balls and um, I like them nice and big. So here I'm going to now put in two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm going to lightly brown the, the, the balls. As you can see, I just want to introduce you to my Dutch pot that my aunt brought for me from Jamaica. Peace be on our, upon her soul. She's transitioned. And now here we have the meatballs all um, brown, or I should say chickpea balls. And we're now going to start preparing the spaghetti. So the spaghetti squash has been cooking for baking, I should say, for 40 minutes. And how we're going to get the spaghetti part of it is we're going to take a fork and we're going to scrape the sides of the squash and that will reveal the spaghetti. It'll look like spaghetti pasta as you can see. There you go. It looks like spaghetti without the flour pasta. So I'll scrape both of them and until um, I've gotten everything out and there it is all finished thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed my little excitement about my garden please leave your comments thanks so much see you next time <music>